What's up guys? I am super excited. I just went to the mailbox and I got my birthday present to myself. But we're gonna open this thing up and uh, see what's inside. Got a knife, got a box. Let's cut her open. Now this is only part one. Part two is gonna be here uh, either tonight or tomorrow. So first we got a little baggie here. And then we got this. It's a books ultra uh, mini C. Let's get this open real quick. All right, look at that. Slides out, it looks like. There we go. It says books right here. All right. There she is. This is a writing tablet made by books. And man, that is nice. It's a little bit bigger than the Kindle Paperwhite. Um, what I was wanting to do was replace my notebooks because I, I usually carry around a homemade leather notebook with like travel journal size um, paper tabs and stuff in it um, also it came with this little box that had a USB-C charger it looks like Whoop. yep perfect for charging it in the car in here in a second and a stylus pin so let's go ahead and get this thing cracked open here. Like I said, I also ordered a case for it. Oh, there we go. Is that? Let me set this down for a sec. And then we got the pin. It's got like ridges on it. Tip. That. that stays on it. I'm gonna charge this up, and uh, we'll kind of go through, kind of go through it, see see what it's all about. So, stick around. Okay, it's been a couple weeks, and. I realized I never got around to finishing my review of the books tablet. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. A uh, couple things I really like about it is for a small investment of like $10 on the Apple or uh, Google Play Store, you can get a thing called Super Display, which allows you to plug it into a computer and then that will allow you to use it as a uh, drawing tablet, which I'll show here. There we go. And then uh, let me let me grab it real quick so I can show you some of the other things I like about it. So this is the only case that came with it. I'm not super happy about that because um, I've got two kids and five animals and this color really, where's the camera, there it is, really picks up a lot of the, the stains and stuff that's on it. It's done a pretty decent job of staying clean. It's got a, a real nice texture to it, but it dirt and grime and stuff get into it and it's really hard to keep it clean um, but I mean what can you do it's the only only color they offered uh, but it's got a nice magnet here this magnetic uh, in fact the whole case has got a little magnet closure on this part and then it's actually just held on by magnets. So nice and just flat. And let's move down to the table 
so we can see a little bit more. Pretty close to the same size as a Kindle Paperwhite. It is pretty close to the same size as a Kindle Paperwhite. Um, it is a little bit wider, a little bit taller, uh, but in terms of thickness, they're about the same. The screen is a lot bigger than on the Paperwhite. Because it is an Android tablet, um, you have access to Google Drive, or you've got some calligraphy apps to practice. Uh, you got access to the Play Store. Um, it has a browser on it. Uh, you can even it looks pretty good in terms of uh, the color uh, with this e-ink. There is a little bit of ghosting, but it's not too bad. Uh, on this app automatically zooms in to fill the page so you can kind of slide over. I have it set up for manga right now so that's why I'm swiping from left to right. If you wanted to for some reason you could watch videos. It's not terrible I just not something I would do but it's something you could do. And now for the most important thing is for writing. So you have a whole bunch of templates here. Um, for general, I tend to like the, um, the horizontal line ones or just the blank page. Uh, so let's just we'll go with the blank page here. And here we can write, draw. It's got, um, if you squiggle over something, it will erase it. If you put a circle or square around it, you can then move this around, which I do a lot. And you tap outside of it. Up here, you have a couple different pins. Uh, you got fountain pen, a brush pen, a ballpoint pen, a pencil, and a marker. And you got different colors here you can use. So you can pick that one, say, and you can use that to highlight your words. Um, there are different layers. So you can do your highlighting on a different layer. I feel like it makes it look a little bit better. Um, you can do some drawing. I've got an upcoming video I'm gonna be working on where I'm gonna be making a desk for my son. So here's just a idea of what it's gonna look like. And then if I go to the first page, I can have a couple of my like size measurements that I think about doing couple of the, the, des the designs I want to try. I keep a daily to-do list that I try to keep on top of uh, with this particular one. And so I can mark things half done, complete, canceled, uh, moved to a different day, did not complete or not started. And then I just fill that out as I, as I go. And of course, like I said, it is, it does have the Kindle app as well as the Libby app. Um, so you can treat it just like a regular Kindle. But anyway, that is a writing tablet that I got myself for my birthday. Um, super happy with it. I use it just about every day. Um, I've had it for about a month and a half now. So I got a couple stains, but that's life, right? Anyway, thank you guys and look forward to my next video.